Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a quick look at how to create a scroll depth progress bar that follows us along as we scroll through various articles on our website. Now, I had a client request this for me and I have used a plugin in the past, but the wheels started turning and I got to thinking, this has got to be a pretty simple thing for Cornerstone to achieve and it was. So today we're going to take a look at how to do that. First things first, let's jump into Cornerstone here, and you'll notice I have just a standard vanilla bar set up right here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to jump to our outline, and I'm going to go ahead and add another bar. This is where our progress bar is going to live. Now, I want this progress bar to start all the way on the left-hand side and to end all the way on the right-hand side, so I'm going to get rid of this gutter area here. So we're going to go ahead and select bar 2 and go down to gutters here and simply type in 0. That'll get us from left to right full width. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that our bar is set to sticky so that as we're scrolling, it always stays in view. Now we get to start building out the actual progress bar, and we're going to do that using a div. So let's jump up to our elements pane, type in div, and we'll just drag that right into this container here. Let's go ahead and just give it a color so that it's easily visible. Uh, we already saw red, so let's do a blue, something like this here, so that we can easily see where we're at. And then we obviously, ideally, want to set a percentage here, right? We want to say, well, when it's 100%, it takes up the full width of the screen and shows us where we're at. But we can't just put a fixed value in there. We need a variable value. The easiest way to do this is going into breakout mode. So if you hold down Option, Command, or Control and hit B, you'll go into breakout mode here where we now can kind of edit this here. We can put in dynamic content if we wanted to. But what we're going to do is simply come in here and we're going to type VAR parentheses dash dash scroll dash depth but now our website doesn't know what the scroll depth is so we got to pop in a little bit of custom javascript and all this javascript is doing is defining that variable so we'll go into our header js here and we'll paste this in and you guys can get this from the description below all this is doing is measuring the scroll depth on the page calculating that as a percentage and creating a CSS variable, which is our scroll depth variable that we referenced over here. So once we have that in there, let's go ahead and just set these styles a little bit more. We'll get out of breakout mode here and we want our minimum height to be five pixels on this div. And we'll go to our container here. Let's actually go to the bar and we'll make that min height five pixels as well. Now I know it looks a little wonky now, but that div will size or should size appropriately on the front end. So let's go ahead and refresh this here. And with that refreshed, let's start scrolling. And there's our blue progress bar. If I go back up, it reverses down, 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 and back. As easy as that, you have now created yourself a progress bar. Now, if this is only supposed to show up on certain post types, like the blog post, you could just use our standard conditional logic. Make sure you have bar two selected, go into customize, go into conditions, and you could say that this should only show up on post type is post. So now it's only on blog posts or other things like that. But we have now created very easily and in less than five minutes, a scroll depth progress bar natively in Cornerstone. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. Feel free to leave questions in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.